Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you follow me on Instagram, at Rashawn Ali, and even here on the show, you know I've been very open about starting therapy and speaking about things I am personally experiencing. And recently I posted this on my Instagram, somewhere between making it all happen, happen and being severely stuck. Mm -hmm. I know many of you may be able to relate mm -hmm. to this, and here to give us a little guidance on this subject is America's marriage coach and relationship expert and a fashionista herself, yes, she is. Dr. She is. Jackie Del Rosario. Welcome back to the show. Always yes, fun. yes, yes. I was in a moment uh, mm -hmm. when I posted this on Instagram, went to my little Canva app and like actually wrote this out because I've been experiencing like, oh, rushes of, oh God, I got to do it, I'm about to do it, I'm about yes. to make all these things happen, and I'm yes. like, whoo, that's so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And uh, in between happiness and sadness and all of this, so I've been very transparent about what I'm going through because I feel like if I'm silent about it, I'm not helping anyone, so I wanna help myself in the process and help others. But what can mm -hmm. you tell people in uh, uh, that are watching us today how to pull ourselves or myself out of this rut of, I can do it, or mm -hmm. man, I sure can't. Yeah, but yeah. the first thing I want to say to you is I commend you on being transparent. Mm -hmm. Because you already did a lot of medicinal work with people that were able to read the post. Mm -hmm. but, but here's the first thing. Discouragement, the, the first byproduct is we become immobile. Mm -hmm. We stop working mm -hmm. because we just kind of feel like it didn't work. Where are we going now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we have to fight that yeah. by keeping it moving. Yeah, but that's tough sometimes. Yeah, it is, man. but this is what you do. You jump on that to-do list. Yeah. So, you know, that to-do list is the things that you have set out that you're going to do at by what time. So mm -hmm. when the discouragement hits, guess what you do? You pick up where you left off. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And you keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Fight and mobility. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Fight not your friend. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a trick. Absolutely. It's a trick of the end. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah. let's talk a little bit about, you know, when we've worked so hard, each of us have worked so hard on our goals. I mean, mm -hmm. we have put a lot of time into mm -hmm. it. And sometimes we're very tired, but we, as you said, keep going. Do you prefer us to keep going while the momentum is there or should we stop and take a mental break for just a little bit well, and then get back on it? Momentum is your <coughs> friend because momentum is what takes you beyond. So you wanna, it takes a lot to build that. So now think about it, if you let it lapse, you gotta start all over again. Mm -hmm. So you wanna keep the momentum, but what you need to do is build in the time for the mental and, uh, well-being and the balance in your life. Okay. So that, that looks like this, a time in the morning. It might mean that you get up earlier, go to bed later but where you set aside time for yourself is the activities that you do for you, the me time. Mm -hmm. It's the reflection time. It's mm -hmm. the time where you kind of pour into yourself so you can kind of refire and refocus. Yeah. So when you said it's me time, <clears throat> do you think that when you're going through something like this, do you have people around you or is it better to push through this kind of thing by yourself? Ooh, don't do it alone, girl. Okay. <laughs> don't do it alone. Okay. We mm -hmm. definitely don't need to be alone. I did that once and it was the worst um, stage of discouragement that I ever went oh, through wow. because it was elongated. Mm -hmm. You know what you need is you need to find your tribe. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that are like you, that you're doing life with. And so you create synergy together. And think about it, it's like someone carrying a load. If I'm carrying a load by myself, oh, it so might weigh 100 weight. pounds. But if I'm spreading that across four different people, or That's two good. different people, yeah. three different people, it's manageable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More positive though. Find your tribe. Yes. Yes. So they're like you. Yes. Now that's like the thing you. though. So maybe if you are not positive, you need to work on that first <sighs> before you get into yes. that tribe situation. That, that, that just brings me to my question to you. Mm -hmm. What about when the people who are closest to you mm -hmm. are not like-minded mm -hmm. and they don't have to be in the same industry as far as I'm concerned because sometimes one who's not in the same industry can still offer good advice. Mm -hmm. um, but if, if you're not in the same mind frame, if you're not in the same mindset, how do you either not dismiss that person but navigate through in a way to where you're not so dependent on them because they're so close to you and they're so whispering in your ear, I don't think you can do that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. not a good idea. Mm -hmm. I, I, didn't, think... I didn't solicit you, so don't. <laughs> I'm asking the doctor! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <laughs> So, so you're wanting to be diplomatic. So here's first things. You need to find mentors. Mentors are those people that have gone where you're trying to go, and they can give you the instruction that you need. And so then for the rest of those people, when they want to chime in, you say, you know what? So-and-so told me such and such. And, you know, I think that that makes sense. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That's just yeah. a little bit of a diplomacy because we don't want to, you know, tee people off, but mm -hmm. right. just a recommendation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. You know, mm -hmm. failure is part of, the, part of the process. I've read a book called uh, Failing Forward. I mean, those mm -hmm. things that, that really shape you. Mm -hmm. uh, but how do we not be overcritical? Because what I found, find myself doing is because 
uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do here that my other things that I'm working on, they really just get set to the side. And I look at them like, man, I was doing that two years ago, and now everybody doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. I'm like talking to myself like, you ain't doing enough. And so mm -hmm. how do we change that, the conversations that we have with Ooh, ourselves? I like yes. that. Michelle, that's good. So I call that managing your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it sounds like a really big concept, but it's really very simple. The more you think about something or say something to yourself, it forms a pattern in your brain that makes you continue to dwell on those things and repeat them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you learn to manage your thoughts, you manage your mind, you don't allow that sort of talk. So what you do is you're replacing it with positive talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at my end goal. Where do I want to be in the next year or so, in the next six months? That's what I focus on, and that's what I speak to. Yes. Are you hearing me? Absolutely. I, hear I speak to that. So when the other chatter tries to come up, I don't have time for it. I replace it, and I write over it. Mm. I rewrite my hard drive. Yes, mm. that's good. That's real good. Mm. That's, good. Mm. that's good. Let's shift gears and talk a little bit about social media. I mean, it's such a pertinent part of who we are uh, in today's society. It is. And often people allow uh, the comments, <clears throat> the social media comments, mm -hmm. to yes. uh, make them feel as if they're not living up to the expectations mm -hmm. of their fans. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we should detach from social media until our goals are met? Ooh. No, That's I think you need one. to be real. Let's let's work on authenticity and your expectations. Social media is social media. People are they're living in the moment for a picture. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's all staged. Preach. Let's let's live life and do mm -hmm. life real. That's mm -hmm. why a lot of people are depressed because mm -hmm. they're looking at all these staged fake lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking mm -hmm. about my life is not no. that. No. No, you're not well, neither it. is theirs. Yeah. Right. Yes. I just saw a T-shirt once that said, "I hope that your life is as good as it is on Instagram." Oh, Thank you. That's oh, good. Is that a good T-shirt? Yeah. <laughs> T-shirt? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Dr. Yeah. Jackie, thank you so much. You always offer some amazing insight and just aesthetically pleasing. And cute. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with you. Hey, well then, you I like You ladies are amazing. Thank, thank you, you so much. Be sure to follow uh, this vessel of knowledge mm -hmm. on Instagram at Ask Dr. Jackie. Can we get up for this beautiful woman yeah. right here?